Lie back, daughter. Let your head be tipped back in the cup of my hand. Gently, and I will hold you. Spread your arms wide. Lie out on the stream and look high at the gulls. A dead man's float is face down. You will dive and swim soon enough where this tide water ebbs to the sea. Daughter, believe me, when you tire on the long thrash to your island, lie up and survive. As you float now, where I held you and let go, remember when fear cramps your heart what I told you. Lie gently and wide to the light year stars. Lie back and the sea will hold you. That's a Philip Booth poem called First Lesson. My sister sent it to me and said it was the poem that got her through her divorce. It's a father reminding his daughter that whenever she feels lost and helpless and weak and small, to lie back and to let the water hold her. It's a reminder to everyone that we are small and that we can feel just like a piece of foam, a bubble floating, alone, not connected to anything else, weak, impermanent, out of control. When that feeling comes over me, it's hard for me to imagine how I can be part of anything else, how I can be connected to anyone else. And that's the question I always ask myself. How do I reach out and touch something so that I feel solidly again that I'm part of the world? In those moments, everything is backward. Even the sun, whose light and heat warm me and help me grow, turns into something more sinister, an eye, something watching me, exposing me for what I am. And I start to feel trapped, stuck, hemmed in, different. And it's those times when you remind me that I'm not alone, that I'm not even stuck, that I'm free, floating, just like the girl in the poem. Kiss me each morning for a million years Hold me each evening at your side Tell me you love me for a million years